Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is your love reading. I hope you are doing well. If you are new here, welcome. And I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, because I post videos every day. Now in this reading, I will cover all the main energies for the time frame of this reading. And at the end, I will see about the energies of the person that is currently in your mind. Let's start. First, let's shuffle the deck four times. Let's see what is the overall energy. Two of Cups. I will come to this card in just a minute, but let's see the other cards. Let's spread them out. So Two of Cups talks to me about a real love story. Now, either this is talking about a deep connection that you still have with this person of the past, or it is talking about a new relationship coming your way. Nevertheless, it seems uh, like a very emotional one. But let's clarify why the Two of Cups... I have Swords reversed. I think it's mostly related to a past story about this person that may be currently in your mind. It has been stressing you a lot. You still feel connected to them energetically. They were not only your lover, but your best friend as well. And things did not go the right direction. And this is causing you lots of stress and anxiety. Now, what about what happened in the past? What were the challenges there? Six of Cups. It started as a good friendship. You may have become first best friends. And then it moved to to a great relationship. But because the Six of Cups is in the position of the challenge, I think that one of the partners was not taking full responsibility. Instead, they were blaming the other partner. And even the friendship, unfortunately, was cracked and damaged, not only the connection. There was not that strong mutual chemistry and understanding with each other anymore. But what is affecting you right now in your subconscious? Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are deciding to put more efforts and energy into the career or uh, creating a side hustle, meaning wanting to increase the income sources. Now, regarding this connection with that Eight of Pentacles, I think that if it was only for you, you'd do much more for the relationship, you'd be highly dedicated to go the extra mile in order to try to repair what was done wrong. But you may not be sure about this person. Are they willing to do the same for you, for the connection? Or are they lazy and not interested anymore? But how do you view the situation? The Empress. You want to grow this connection to something bigger and better. Some of you had created a family or there were plans about creating a family together. Your love seems quite pure, deep and powerful. And that's why I think this story has been affecting you so much mentally, emotionally. Now, your focus is to finally make a decision. Some of you may have some other options or you may have this idea of starting to look for a new, better partner. But you have to decide. Some of you are at crossroads between leaving the past behind completely or trying to choose uh, a new partner or finding a new, better partner. What I see here is that your next connection, your focus is to be not just a uh, dull, or just to put a tick into that area of your life, just being in a relationship. No, you don't want that. You want that passion, that intensity. You want the real relationship in your love, uh, in your life. 
You want that love to be real and deep and powerful. You want to share the love with the right partner. And that is your hope that you will be in this long-term stable, more stable, uh, stabler commitment. And wanting to build a legacy, not wanting to just waste time anymore, or even if trying to date other people, it may seem to you like a waste of time. You want as soon as possible that connection of your dreams. Now, regarding this past history, when you reflect about it, you may be thinking that, or you may be fearing that, this person may not provide you any more that solid connection, or it may be quite difficult to build something long-term with them. That is your fear. Now, about the current energies, here it is reconfirmed with the Judgment Guard that you are at crossroads, and you need to finally make a decision here. Uh, what you are looking forward to is a better connection. Now, I think you'd like to give another chance to this past person, but only with uh, only only you want them to to change for the better. You want an, a version number two of that connection. You have only one request, that they should provide a more mature connection, more focused and more responsible. That's the only way for you to give them another chance, because you are aware that there are many red flags there. It's not easy at all, but you are considering, he has the idea of giving them another chance. What about the good thing coming to you? The chariot. I see movement success, progress. If you feel stuck at this moment, uh, it will not be long before you see some progress in your love life. Now, I have many cards here. I have Gemini, uh, Cancer, Taurus, but it can be any sign. Just uh, the energies of them the person that you may have been dealing with, it may be their sun sign, their moon sign, or their rising sign. Now let's talk about them. Let's talk about uh, their energies towards you, their thoughts and energies towards you at this moment. Let's shuffle the deck three more times for this person. This person wants to talk, they want to communicate to you, and in fact they want to talk as soon as possible. This is their energy, but they are not sure if out of this conversation um, there can be a potential for planting a seed of commitment. They are trying to be quite logical, some of you may be dealing with another air sign, another Aquarius or Gemini or Libra. So Gemini is emphasized here. They are watching you. They check your social media. They want to give attention to you. But why are they being so logical and why so cold? Okay, they are logical because now what they are thinking about is commitment. They are considering the idea of a serious commitment or a more serious commitment with you and that's why they think it is important to be logical in this aspect yes I exactly that they want to be in a serious committed relationship with you but they don't want to make any mistakes apparently they they have feelings and they want a more solid connection now they keep watching you to find out if you still have feelings for them, if the love is, is still there from your side. And they haven't understood it yet. They are not sure if you still have feelings. 
I think this person wants to get attention from you. They have some ego and uh, it may not come easy for them to come towards you and talk because from their perspective they would appear a bit weak. Ace of Cups. In fact, they want to send a love message. An offer, a proposal. This person wants long-term and happy commitment with you, but they are not sure if it can... if you both can start to build a solid foundation. With that Page of Pentacles reversed, seems quite difficult and they are taking a slow approach they are patient but steady so from what what i see here is that first they are not sure about your feelings and that's why they are hesitant second they have a big ego and that's why they may not be giving attention to you and third they are not sure if you both can start something serious now what they want their intentions are very clear here they want commitment, they want to express a love message to you. Now you may have been thinking about them and you are so stressed. Some of you very anxious because you are not sure if that connection is strong again. But they are interested. Are you? Uh, this is their question. Now I will continue this reading in the extended with more details. If you want to watch the full reading, you can find it now. It is, it is in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.